Hello. This tutorial is designed to give you a basic overview of how to create a table in Microsoft Word 2011 for Mac. Tables are a useful way to present and organize data and information in a Word document. Unlike Excel, it does not contain any particular function to actually tabulate or summarize numerical data. In this tutorial, we have three objectives. One, create a table with fixed column widths. Two, create a table with column widths that adjust automatically. And three, customizing tables with color, shading, and borders. So let's get started. I have an open Word document, so let's begin here. First, I want to click in my document where I want to place the table. Then, I want to select the tables icon from the standard toolbar. You can see this gives us a variety of options on how to customize our table. On the far left, you'll see a small grid with the word new. Select this section by clicking on the arrow. By highlighting over this area, we can select the number of rows and columns we want to insert in our table. I'm going to start out with a 5x4 table. You can see that it places the table in our document automatically. Each of the column widths are fixed. So I can go ahead and insert information into my table. Now, let's try another way to create a table. I want to go back and select on the new table area. On this time, I'm going to select Insert Table. This brings up options, including the table size and how I can arrange the information. First, I want to select the number of rows and columns. I want to stay with the same size in terms of number and rows as my previous table. But this time, I'm going to select Auto to Fit Contents and then click on the tab OK. Now this places the document, the table in the document. This time though, the columns will change as I type information into the table to adjust accordingly. So you can see there's different ways to create a table. Now let's look at some ways that we can customize our tables using different colors, shading, and borders. I have a table created here. If I highlight the table, I can go up and select some different options. I have several options I can highlight either by rows or columns, and then various table styles. I'm going to start out by checking several options in row, header row, total row, and banded rows, and then two in columns, first column and banded columns. Then as I scroll over this area, you can see that it changes in terms of the color and shading on my tables. I can also use the pull down bar and select other ways that I can adjust here. It also gives me different options on how to look, how my table will look. So you have lots of options and different ways you can create tables with different colors and shades. So have fun experimenting.